how does that happen, dude? I literally had no idea that that's a mechanic, man. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot, dude. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with our second to last nation in season C, the nation of Croatia. Croatia starts off as a junior partner of Hungary right here. And as we all know, when Ladislas over here, the heir to the Habsburg Empire, also becomes the ruler of Hungary and Hungary becomes a junior partner of Austria. Croatia is automatically integrated into Hungary. So we have about 10 years over here right at the start to either break free from Hungary or hope that they don't choose to become a junior partner under Austria or else we're going to be toast. Croatian ideas aren't that bad. Actually, we got naval force limit over here, which should help us out quite a bit. Cap combat prestige decay is kind of bad, actually. Then we got trade steering, which isn't that bad. Tax, which is helpful for the early game. A impact minus 15 is pretty good. Minus 10% admin cost and plus 10% infantry combat ability. Ability, so a pretty balanced medium-ish set of national ideas. But what do we do as Croatia? Well, as we all know, there's a bunch of memes about Croatia owning coastlines and stuff like that. And of course, I thought to myself, let's own the entire coastline of Europe and take only coastal provinces. But of course, that would take way too long for an A to Z episode. So I thought to myself, let's own the entire Mediterranean. But once again, that would also take too long. So let's go for something a little more realistic here and own the entire Adriatic Sea coastline. Coastline. Now, that would include us fighting the Ottomans, Steel Aragon and Naples, the Pope, and Austria, and Venice? Wait, I thought this was supposed to be easy. No! And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Croatia. All right, all right, here we are as Croatia. And like I said, when this guy over here becomes the heir to Hungary as well, you guys know that Hungary sometimes becomes becomes a junior partner under Austria and Croatia gets automatically integrated into Hungary with that decision. So I think we're going to have to try and break free from Hungary here before that even happens. Of course, first, I have to start off with some estate stuff. All right, all right, estate stuff done. I did accidentally give the nobles this, which I didn't want to do. Let's take a look at our force limit here. It is seven. Do we have a horse? Bye bye horse, at least for now. And by the way, yeah, I do have that achievement where you need to take a horse over to Stockholm. It's super easy. You can do it in a month by just asking access through anyone. And let's take a look at our naval force limit as well. It is eight and we do have a light ship here. So let's tell this light ship here to protect trade in Ragusa. Go home during war. We don't really need these transports. We aren't going to be transporting anyone anywhere. And uh, let's get some galleys over here. There we go. There we go. Now, will someone support our independence right at the start? Yes, Poland and Venice, bruh. <laughs> This is going to be easy, yo. Oh, we got a Diplorep guy too. Let's see if anyone else will. Nah, but that's enough, man. There we go. Let's ask Venice to support us and Poland as well. And as soon as we get these troops right here, I'm going to declare an independence war. Hopefully Hungary doesn't ally Austria. Now, the question is, should we only take coastal provinces or can we take inland provinces as well? I think I am going to take inland stuff and then just give them away at the end to end up with only coastlines. All right, now this is just stupid. <laughs> Hungary allied Austria and Lithuania. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait around for a little bit, so hopefully Poland will get Lithuania, and then I'll declare when Hungary aren't allied to them, and they're pretty much on my side as well. So let's wait a little bit for the event Poland gets. All right, there we go. Hungary got Ladislas here, so uh, that's not looking very good for us. I mean, that always happens. Ah, a zero, zero, zero. Now that's something I haven't seen in a long time, man. Even though he's not really our ruler, he technically is. So we got a zero, zero, zero here, boys. Nice. Hungary just seized the province. They, they just took this from me. Well, Poland got Moldavia, which is great. And Poland got Lithuania as well. That's awesome. All right, lucky start here, at least in that regard. So now we can totally declare on Hungary with the help of uh, Poland, Lithuania, Moldavia, and Venice. And of course, Venice is little minions down here so that's awesome man let me just uh get one of these guys back there we go the guy is back now let me fire this guy right here and let's get this discipline guy actually i'm also gonna get a general uh all right at least he has a siege pip now i think i'm gonna try and run away down here in venice or something like that but either way man let's declare on hungary right here independence and uh poland and venice are coming in boom just one stability loss so that's not bad at all we got a 353 which is not 
not bad. I'll take him. And uh, yeah, we're at war. We can take a mission. Oh, we do have unique missions. That's nice. Croatian independence. Thank you very much. We got some claims over here. So uh, let's run away a little bit here while our boys come in. I can also get a couple of more units here. So uh, let me actually get two more infantry guys. Or I can't. I guess I need money. But there we go. It's not a problem. I'll take two loans. Boom. Boom, there we go. And we also do need to stab up. And we can already knock Austria out, which is super easy. I'm just gonna take war reps and uh, some ducats here from them. And there we go, Austria's out. It's just Hungary left, man. Super, super easy war. I've never actually played a serious game as uh, Croatia before, so I was pretty surprised that Poland and Venice supported me. But oh well. And I've improved relations with Austria during this point. I just scornfully insulted France, a rival of theirs. And I can join the HRE. Yes, there we go. Even though we're at war, we can actually join the HRE which is pretty strange i don't think that should be possible but we can also take a mission high income sure and uh yeah man now we're in the hre so we don't gotta worry about big boys attacking us and we can also attack these boys right here well ferrara specifically <laughs> and yeah we're pretty much done here boys so let's uh get independence from hungary right here let's get our core back and i also want to get this province too and i do want the gold mine and hunt so let's do something like this that's not a lot of aggressive expansion at all i think i'm also gonna take this right here maybe this right here too perfect perfect I'm also gonna get war reps and uh money boom there we go like i said earlier i am gonna get rid of all these provinces at the end so we end up only with a coastline but there we go man first war done a lot of nations are pretty angry so we are gonna have to chill a bit or fight the orthodox guys over here but yeah it's definitely time to relax for about three or four years for sure so let me reduce war exhaustion here core these provinces up root out corruption and pay off some well pay off a loan <laughs> now that we have the gold mine we can totally dev it up to 10 or at least start devving it up to 10 so yeah you know there we go just a little bit boom yeah soon enough now since we do need to start working towards this coastline here i'm wondering if we should already break our alliance with venice here or should we just jump over to italy slowly i mean realistically we can only take ferrara right here everything else is venice the pope or naples and uh i can't reach naples yet or else maybe i would have fought them and of course it is time to strengthen noble privileges yes all right let's do some other stuff here boys i think i'm gonna declare on bosnia right here but also take this gold mine down here you know serbia is being Oh, well, they were guaranteed by Hungary just a while ago, so I wasn't gonna co-belligerent them, but, uh, I think I am now, huh? Yeah, there we go. We'll call in Venice, too. Easy, man. Let me just set these provinces as provinces of interest right here, so Venice transfers everything over to me. And there we go. Let's declare on Bosnia. Now, wait a minute. I'm really cool with Venice here, right? So if I create favors, they'll just give these two to me, right? Okay, this is very good. This is very good. In the Iberian wedding, Castile chose not to get the PU over Aragon, which is pretty good for me they might not get naples like this too we'll see naples is free right now yeah either way so let's full annex serbia and take all their money boom there we go and now with bosnia i'm just gonna take that province right there and then vassalize them and take all their money perfect easy and with that we've acquired a second gold mine over here but like i said we will be getting rid of those provinces and i will be keeping around venice until the end i think and fight them last because they're probably gonna help me with the ottomans and stuff poland should help me with the ottomans too i don't have a cb on them right now but poland and venice would already help out and i'm thinking we wait for them to fight the mamluks right so are they a nation of interest let's see right here no but now they are and uh i will try and get some other strong allies as well huh? like aragon for example Example. nice and i need 27 and 21 favors respectively for these provinces right here i can also ally austria now they might help out with the ottomans too super sweet time to bump our second gold mine up to 10 boom 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 there we go we need 55 we do have that you know i'm saving up these points over here because we still haven't embraced the renaissance but yeah with that we got two gold mines up to 10, baby. You know what it is. Making nice income right there. Now, out of the Italian nations, Florence stayed in the HRE, but that really doesn't concern us. I am going to declare on Herzegovina right here just to finish them off for a mission. We're going to do a reconquest for Bosnia score, and I'm going to call in Poland since Hungary guarantees them or they're allied or something like that. But yeah, Austria will get Hungary, which I don't really care about. I'm allied to Austria anyway, because they do have Ladislas here on the throne. And as soon as this guy dies, he'll also become the ruler of Austria. And that's when Austria will get Hungary. So I actually don't want to weaken Hungary quite a lot, because I want them to help out when I fight the Ottomans as well. And yeah, man, we're pretty much done over here. So let me get war reps from Hungary, humiliate them, and some money too. Boom, there we go. And now I can just transfer this over here to Bosnia, and just give them this province. And this war is done as well. Now we should be able to 
take another mission or no, no, we can't take that mission yet. But either way, we're chilling, baby. And I also do have favors with Venice here. So let's ask them for a province like Zara. Boom, there we go. Easy. Let's query some more favors. I probably should have asked for Spalato so I can spy on Naples, but I'm stupid. <laughs> well, we haven't had one of these boys for a while. Boom, there we go. Let's see. Oh, yes. I like that. I like that a lot. Hunt depleted? That was so fast. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to waste Diplo points again. And I didn't even activate Encourage Development. I hate min-maxing. First idea group time. I wonder what we should go with here, man. We don't really have a lot of mill stuff, except the calf combat and infantry combat in our national ideas. So maybe we go with quality here for the boats too, or offensive. I think I am gonna go quality, actually. Wait, how did Lithuania just rival me? Aw, oh, Poland lost Litho- No. Yeah, they did. They did lose Lithuania, man. I guess when their ruler died and it was like a couple of months ago because they sent me a royal marriage. I guess uh, Lithuania didn't have a good opinion of Poland, man. That sucks, dude. That sucks quite a lot. We are going to be weaker now when we fight the Ottomans. But yeah, I just got 27 favors with Venice so we can ask for our second core back right here. And where is it? Return core province. Spalato. Boom. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, Venice. Now we can also take this mission, which gives us prestige and a claim on Ragusa. Thank you. <laughs> helpful. By the way, if you're asking yourself what the Adriatic Sea is, uh, in my opinion, it's uh, everything from this line up here. So we will have to take uh, Yanya and Corfu because they do kind of border it. Let's be real here. And yeah, man, I think we can go ahead and enter Italy here in Ferrara. So let's declare in Ferrara and call in Venice. And yeah, this war is done. Let's just take Ferrara, not take anything more than we need to, and boom. Now we're in Italy too, boys. Where's my army? There it is. I've also been spying on the Pope. I think I am gonna take down the Pope a little bit and uh, take these two provinces from them. Then we're gonna move on to Naples and then the Ottomans, hopefully. I can also ally France here. Let's see if that works out for us. And Austria just got Hungary as well. So that's great, man. Let's see what happens if we want to declare on the Ottomans. So Poland, Austria, and Aragon would all help out. Would France help? I think it's too far away from them. And and Venice would actually also help when their truce with the Ottomans is up, which is in 1480. So I think we chill and get ready here until 1480, and hopefully then we can pop off a war on the Ottomans, even though they won't be fighting the Mamluks. Let's see. I am going to start spying on them. Let's centralize some bureaucracy, and by the way, I'm just helping out Poland in this uh, little kerfuffle they're having with the Teutons. All right, it's February 1480. Venice's truce with the Ottomans should be up. It is up, and will they join? They will. They will. All right, this is awesome. So we can declare for KOTOR right here. Knights of the Old Republic, shout out, great video game. We can call in Poland, which is going to come with Danzig. We can call in Austria, which is going to come with Hungary. We can call in Aragon and Venice as well. So we have a massive advantage over here. A crusade might even be called. I'll check that later. The only thing that sucks here is that we don't have Lithuania because they broke free from Poland, but it is what it is. I think we should still be able to do this. So let's try, boys. I'm feeling confident here. It's also time for our second idea group. Now, what would be the best thing to go with here, man? Maybe religious as well. We are suffering quite a lot with religious disunity and we haven't taken it in a while, but will it really be that useful? I don't think so. I think we should go with Diplo here to reduce AE in Italy, maybe province war score cost as well. But then again, that's kind of boring. We always take it. So let's go with something weird, man. Let's go with maritime. Why not? You know, I know sometimes I do meme picks like this, but it's just to switch it around instead of the usual quantity economic or, you know, offensive diplomatic meta or whatever. Quality maritime? We're gonna have some nice boats here, baby. And I know some of you are thinking that we should form Dalmatia since that is way more powerful than Croatia, but I think, you know, for the spirit of the goal here, we should stay as Croatia. War's actually going great. Aragon just arrived to the Ottomans. I think they're focusing on Poland. Yeah, the bulk of their army is right here. So they got about 40k troops up in Poland. They're total is 60k. Uh, I don't know where their 20k stack is. I guess we'll have to find out soon enough. But yeah, man, I think Poland is probably going to get pieced out here. But me, Austria, Hungary, and Aragon should be able to win this either way. I'm going to do this just to spite them. You know, the weird thing is the Ottomans don't really have a very strong navy at this point. By this point, they should have about 50 or 60 ships, man. They got like 10 galleys over here and a heavy right there. I got my uh, 10 galleys right here. Now, if a Venice would attach, I'd probably go and engage, but they're not doing it. So, oh well. And there we go. Poland actually just pieced out. So this might be our time. They did lose some land to the Ottomans, but let's see if we can piece out here. All right. So the things I want are this, 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 and this. That's about six provinces. So they will give me the Knights of the Europe 
public. They'll give me this too. What about this? Yup, this, yup, this, yup, this, yeah, as well. So that's all I want, man. No need for any more AE. No need to take anything else from the Ottomans. I am gonna take war reps. Now, it would be funny to humiliate them, but we can't do it. So I'm just gonna take some cash. And there we go, man. Pretty much the hardest war in this campaign is done. We have the coastline up until here. So now it's pretty much just on to Italy. Or wait, no. No, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I should have declared on Ragusa while I was fighting the Ottomans. Because now I have to fight them again. Well, at least these guys would already join. So I don't know if we can do this right here. Wait, should I just do this right away here? Ah, <laughs> now they won't join. <laughs> that sucks. But oh, well, we'll wait a little bit. And for some reason, I'm not Ally Toshi anymore. I don't know why that happened. Oh, I'm not Ally to Poland either. They made them break their alliance with me. No, at least I still got these guys right here, but I will need these guys for the Ottomans. At this point, aggressive expansion actually isn't too bad, so we could totally like fight a nation in Italy, like the Pope or Naples, take two or three provinces from them. So yeah, next up on the chopping block, boys, it's these guys right here. Now we can renovate Zagreb and get a level two center of trade right there. Sweet. I love that mission. Thank you, France, for paying off my loans. We're just farming cash here as Croatia, boys. And it's only gonna get even better. I also have, like, 58 forts, so that's dragging us down a little bit. But no big deal. Let's get free oarsmen for galley combat ability. Awesome. But yeah, boys, enough time has passed. I think we're good to go on Naples here, man. So let's go declare on them right here for whatever. Maybe a Brutus or something like that. And we'll call in Milan and Venice. I think that should be enough. Aragon would join with the promise of land. But I don't care about Aragon. Boom, there we go. We should have naval superiority. Let's get it, baby. And listen, Austria, this is what you get for renting out troops to Provence, man. Listen, you can't come in here and try and siege my capital. You'll just get beat up. Bro, I'm a dumbass. I won't even have to fight a Ragusa, man. We can just flat them when we fight the Pope because they're allied. <laughs> easy. Easy. Very easy. All right, since this is the only thing I want, we can dip here. I can't wait for these guys to siege down Provence. It's been years already. I'm also going to take war reps. Boom, some cash as well. And there we go. We have Southern Italy. Yes. Now all we need is these two provinces from the Pope. And then we're going to have to fight Venice and Ragusa. Wait, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute, because we're going to have to fight Austria, who has Hungary and who's about to get Bohemia. <laughs> Pain. Might as well rival like, I don't know, Austria or someone. But the good thing is now I can re-ally Poland. So there we go. We're back in the cahoots with them. And uh, yeah, that should be that, man. I wonder how many of these guys would help me versus Austria, though. France would for sure. They probably hate each other. Uh, Yeah, France would help. Venice would help. Poland would probably not help. Yeah, it's gonna be me, France, and Venice looks like it. Ah, uh, should I actually fight Austria before fighting Venice, man? I think that's the call right there. Or wait, should I fight them now before they get Bohemia? Huh, I think I need to start spying on them. Great, like I needed Austria to become more powerful. They just got the Burgundian success. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't mind this Burgundian succession. <laughs> they suck. Now, boys, I honestly think we have to attack Austria now, man. Like I said earlier, France and Venice will help me out. And if they get Bohemia, they're going to be a lot stronger. And they're not doing too well versus Bohemia here. As we can see, pretty much all of Hungary is occupied. So I think we got to go for this now, man. I am not as confident as we were in the Ottoman War. We do have a little less troops than them, I think. Or no, actually, we have more, but I don't know. It's going to be a while before France arrives. So let's see, I guess. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. So they did just peace out Bohemia and they did just get Bohemia, which complicates things a little bit. Now, hopefully they're disloyal and they're actually right on the edge of being disloyal. So they might just become loyal during this war and then start helping out. But we're not doing too bad. I already pieced out Florence right here. We got some forts right here. Venice sieged down their capitals and this fort as well. So that's nice. Uh, let me go for past here. In the meantime, if any of you care, I have been converting provinces down here in order to lower our religious disunity. This is what I've converted so far. Can we include subjects? I think I need to convert this right here for a mission. Now, the Protestant Reformation did spawn. I think it would be a good idea to go Protestant here since we are going to fight the Pope. We don't want to get excommunicated and stuff like that. So we are kind of big to do it. And maybe we'll do it in the middle of a war. But I don't know. I do think we should go Protestant just because we're fighting the Pope. Otherwise, I'd stay Catholic. You know what? Actually, it's more Chad to fight the Pope as a Catholic nation. So I will be staying Catholic. France is getting sieged down here, which is lowering our our war score so i'll either wait for them to peace out or to get unseaged by the way have you guys been noticing in your games how often bohemia just demolishes brandenburg and gets berlin it happens super often in my games aha uh -huh, france got peaced out they made them pop out fox and berry dude but yeah there's no point on going any further when one province is all i need man so let's take trieste right here from austria let's get war ups from them i'll humiliate them that would be pretty funny i think and then let's get some money and that's that man all right just the pope and venice left here 
here, boys. And Ragusa, of course, yeah. I am gonna chill a little bit now before I move on to hitting the Pope. And Venice will be my final adversary from supporting our independence in 1444 to becoming our arch nemesis and us needing to take uh about one two three four five six provinces from them all of which are super high dev we might even have to do two wars versus them boys but yeah i do need to buff up my navy uh in preparation for the venice war here so let me get a bit more galleys here and does maritime give us naval force limit let's see right here oh yeah there it is plus 50 percent all right we'll be unlocking that pretty soon in fact i will shift focus to dip and we'll get some heavies going and stuff like that too my bond here is also a navigator which is pretty nice but I think he'll die before we fight Venice. <laughs> demand on lawful territory. The Emperor Austria demands that we return the province of Turs, I guess it's changed its name, to the Holy Roman Empire. Denying this request will seriously impact our relations with the HRE. <laughs> oh, puny Austria. Meanwhile, Croatia be like, enters HRE, takes HRE provinces, leaves the HRE, and refuses to elaborate further. We don't need the HRE anymore, bruh. This Austria thing, I don't even know what to say anymore. Now wait, what happened here? How did they get this? <laughs> what happened, dude? <laughs> what happened? No. <laughs> How did they get it back? I swear I denied the request, right? Oh my god, I have to go back and rewatch my clip, dude. What did I click? All right, so I just saw in my previous clip that uh, <laughs> they got this back when I left the HRE. <laughs> How does that happen, dude? I literally had no idea that that's a mechanic, man. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot, dude. I'm gonna have to fight these guys again. No! Uh, in my attempt to seem like a cool, you know, guy, a knowledgeable U4 player, a Chad, uh, I ended up looking like an idiot. Good job there, Hawk. And yeah, man, let's attack the Pope here. It's gonna be me and Venice, but I think by separate piecing these guys one by one, we should be able to do it easily. Boom, there we go. Conquest for Urbino. And let's take out Ragusa first because we do need their land as well a decision what's this declare statue in restraint of appeals uh no that's not a very good decision <laughs> not a very good decision at all here for gov reform time let's get cheaper advisors oh no catholic zealots have risen up in the papal state apparently you gotta be kidding me man I just noticed this is occupied by Venice. Oh my god, you know, things started so straightforward, man, and now we got this to deal with and this as well. Uh, all right, I can piece out Ragusa here separately. Boom, there we go, we got that province. And I think that's that, man. Venice won't give this to us. So let me just take it right here, and I guess I'm gonna have to fight the Pope again? Nah, I'm just gonna give it to Venice, and then I'll take it from them. Ah, they won't accept that. Fine, now they'll accept it. There was a naval battle. Yeah, but now we can also take this mission here, dominate Dubrovnik, and that gives us one in naval tradition and the center of trade is increased by one. That's awesome. But you should have upgraded to level two and then moved on to level three with the mission. I don't care that much. Ah, I have been excommunicated. Pain. But yeah, boys, now it's time to chill for like 10 years, man, until our truce with Austria is up so I can once again use Venice to help me fight Austria. And uh, yeah, I kind of messed up leaving the HRE there. Oop, looks like I got a little too carried away with the high inflation good meme. So, <laughs> well, this is not good. And Venice broke their alliance with me. Not good. Not good. I needed them to help me fight Austria. All right, well, the Ottomans declared on Venice. That should weaken them a little bit, right? Well, that's just unacceptable. And honestly, boys, I think it's go time here, man. Even though Venice won't help me out, Poland will this time. And I can call in Poland and France. This isn't gonna be that easy, but this isn't my biggest advantage. My biggest advantage is I'm Miltek 10. Austria is 8, Bohemia is 8, and Hungary is 8 as well. I'm really far ahead in Miltek, so that should give us an edge as well. So let's uh do it again for the second time, because I'm stupid. Morale of navies with quality and maritime? Sign me up. Third idea... <clears throat> Third idea group time. Once again, we're probably gonna have to go with the mill one here. Should we really lean into the navy meme? I feel like maritime is enough. So uh, let's go with quantity. I am struggling with manpower over here. Or no, how about even more calf combat? <laughs> let's go with Aristo, man. And boom, man, I don't think we need to drag this out for any longer once again. So let me take Trieste here and all their money and uh, war absence, something like that. Can I take something else? Maybe I can humiliate them. No, I can't. How about I make them, um, I don't know, release someone? Nah, forget about it. Boom. And realistically, man, we don't have a lot of AE here, right? We haven't been expanding too much in the recent years. So I think we can uh, hit Venice right away. I don't know if we'll be able to take all of this in one single war, but hey, Let's at least see what we're up against. So I am going to declare for Istria right here. It's just me versus Venice and, of course, the Knights. But I am very proud of my Navy. Navy, please, don't let me down, man. And there's an immediate naval victory right there, boys. They have also deleted their forts in Treviso and Brescia, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, they have. Once again, Austria is asking for Trieste back, but this time, they won't really get it. Now, I think I trapped them on Corfu, right? <laughs> All right, this is pretty much done. Let's see the damage here, boys. Okay, so I want this, obviously, this right here, this right here, this. Oh, I already can't take Venice, dude. No. All right, it's definitely gonna have to be two wars, even if I take all of this. And that's 88 AE, man. That's pretty insane. All right, I think I wanna take this, this, and this in that case. And that's just 37 aggressive expansion, which isn't that bad. They're so high dev, dude. They're so high dev. So yeah, just that. We want our troops to be as short as possible. It's until 1530, so nine years. And uh, we already have a risk of a coalition here. It wasn't possible in one war either way. So let's just chill for the next nine years, improve relations with everyone, try not to get a coalition, and uh, try and find some more allies, maybe? Yeah. I am a great power now, which is pretty pog. Gentlemen, the dawn of the final day is upon us, as our shoes with Venice has ended. So it is time to declare our final war in this campaign, hopefully, for the conquest of Venice. Call in Aragon and Milan, wait for a diplomat to come back, and declare this war. And we even got to our tier 5 cover form, which is General Estates. And that's done, man. No need to lollygag and stuff like that. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. 90 aggressive expansion. We'll get like 21 nations in a coalition just kidding i don't know if it's 21 i didn't count them but that's it man we have the entire coastline now let me just core these up no actually let me just wait for admin points and then core them up and then pop out every nation that's not a coastal province and then our challenge will be a success if we die before that it's a failure wait we're gonna die before that. All right, uh, let's do this right here. Where's the other guy? Constantinople? Nope, not in Constantinople. He can go in Vienna. And we're gonna tell him to establish communities as well. Uh, do we have an improved relations guy? Let's see right here. We don't sad. Now, if I accept, the coalition might declare. If I reject, the coalition might declare. Ah, oh, okay, this is a small war. By the way, yeah, this is what the coalition is looking like right now. There's a bunch of guys in it. I did get a level 3 advisor and I'm focusing on admin, but I've started coring everything so we can just go back to that guy because we're really losing money. And there we go. I've cored everything up. Now, let me just pop out Nitro over here. Uh, I'll pop out Serbia as well, and I think those are really the only nations we need to pop out. I'm also gonna seize a province from Serbia here, the coastline. Knights of the Old Republic, and then I'm gonna give them a bunch of provinces. Let's see here, Serbia, Grand Province, so let's give them Slavonia, let's give them this one, and let's give them that one as well, and then I'll give Nitra that one right there. Uh, actually, I need to move my capital here too, so let's just move it to right there, it doesn't matter, and I'll give Bosnia that province right there, and I'll give Bosnia the former capital as well. There we go. Boom. And that's that, man. We own the entire coastline as Croatia of the Adriatic Sea, a step down from owning the entire coastline of Europe, and another step down from owning the entire coastline of the Mediterranean. But yeah, man, we started off as Croatia right here, a junior partner of Hungary, and luckily Venice and Poland supported our independence, and along with their help, we got a break free from Hungary, took a bunch of provinces over here to get the gold mines so we could become rich, fought Bosnia and Serbia, took provinces from them, vassalized them, and overall, we were in a super strong position. We entered Italy through Ferrara right here, fought the Pope and Naples, and with all of our allies' help, except for France, I think, we were able to fight the Ottomans as well. Actually, a really, really easy war. They focused their entire army on Poland. Poland got pieced out and we just needed these provinces right here from the Ottomans because like I said I consider the Adriatic Sea up until here and that's how it is on maps that I've looked up online and we can also take this mission apparently which is very nice and then we continue our conquest back in Italy also fighting Austria taking Trias from them and then accidentally giving it back because I left the HRE. How embarrassing. Then I had to take it again. Then we had to finish off the Pope and Naples and then we had to fight Venice twice and get this massive coalition in order for our challenge to be a success. But overall, a super fun campaign, man. Croatia is a super strong nation, easy to break free from Hungary. Our national ideas are kind of maxed, so I do recommend flipping to Dalmatian culture when you get the chance and forming Dalmatia instead so you can get better national ideas. But overall, if we want to play Croatia and if we want to have a satisfying name placement like this right in the middle of the Adriatic Sea, then you should definitely go for it. This map color is also really nice and overall a super, super fun campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Croatia in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Croatia in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with Cyprus next time, the final nation in Season C. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more UFO videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today.
and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.